Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Reina Jinx and I'm here with another video. This video is going to be all about my favorite natural hair, or not even natural hair, but just hair products in general and also the products that I can't stand and plan on either trashing or giving away. Basically, all of the products that I talk about, I will either give a great big heart eyes emoji face <laughs> for all the products that I like and for the products that I dislike, I'll be putting up another one of my favorite emoji faces and it's the, you know, that face when you're just like, mm. yeah, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to do a fun little video showing all the products that I like and dislike with, you know, fun little emoji faces for, you know, ones that I like and ones that I can't stand and dislike. So let's just get right into it. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Curl's Daughter Black Manila Leave-In Conditioner. So my labeling for this is a little torn up. You can't really see it, but you get the point. And basically, um, this leave-in conditioner, it contains like pro vitamin B5 and wheat protein. So it's a very good moisturizing conditioner, but it also includes some protein to strengthen your hair. And this stuff, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, it does smell like warm vanilla. I have noticed that my hair does, you know, it likes it. Um, it doesn't feel like ultra ultra moisturizing I don't know like to the touch um, on your fingers it doesn't feel ultra moisturizing but the hair does um, receive it well so that's why I like this stuff this one gets a heart eyes I really like it I really want to try more products from Carol's daughter um, so I might um, not buy this again even though I did like it I just want to keep trying some of their products to see um, you know, things that I really do like, but this was my introduction to Carol's Daughter. So my next product is something that I've used for a very long time, and I still haven't run out of it for some reason, but it's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is the thing with this product. In general, I like how it does hold the style um, that I am trying to achieve. So I would use it for my twist outs or if you do braid outs, you can use it for things like that. Any style that you want to hold. Um, it smells really good. I love the whole coconut and hibiscus line. But all that said, and I know that this is a styler, but the thing is um, it's not moisturizing. So you got you have to make sure that you moisturize your hair before using this product. I would like usually moisturize and seal with the oil and then put this on top of the oil to uh, style the hair. I feel like there are better stylers out there. I um, basically have had this since I became natural two years ago and there's still there's still some left in here <laughs> and um, the main reason why there is, is still some left in here is because um, I sometimes use leave-ins as stylers instead of this. Um, so this gets a little uh, side-eye face because um, it's just okay. Like It's not an amazing product to me that I need to have. It's not a holy grail. I am almost sure there are better stylers out there. Because so this next product is something that I've literally just tried. Um, because I um, basically got it for free <laughs> from my job because we were getting rid of, getting rid of a lot of products. Um, and this is the Moroccan Oil Smoothing Lotion. And um, this is like a lotion that you would, it's like a leave-in that you would put into your hair before you blow dry. So it's meant to smooth the hair and prepare it for um, blow drying. Um, I actually use this just as a regular leave-in and I sealed with an oil just to see how it um, performs without blow drying my hair because you know blow drying your hair can be drying. Um, so I actually used it without 
blow drying my hair and um, I love I actually really like this stuff I've seen it a lot and it's actually pretty expensive so um, that explains why I have stayed away from it but <laughs> Um, I actually really like this product. Um, it really moisturized my hair and it paired well with my oil. It smells really good, you know, that traditional Moroccan oil smell. Yeah, I love how, I love how it smells. Uh, um, I did notice that it did tame the frizziness of my hair. So this product does what it says and this gets heart eyes. This product I've had for maybe before I uh, became natural. I don't even remember. It's the Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Protector Straightening Mist. Because this is a water-based thermal protector, I don't use it that often. And when I did use it, it didn't work. <laughs> Basically, like it did not protect my hair from heat damage at all. Um, I used it on my natural hair. I'm not sure if I used it alone or if I used it... Oh, I, I know what I used it with and I will show you that product next actually. It did nothing for me. So I keep this around for like my wigs, anything that's not my own hair because um, it would be a waste for me to throw it out. So I figured I can use it on my wigs to protect my wigs from heat damage and maybe since you know, like this is straight hair, it would actually work. Um, yeah, this gets the side eye because it doesn't work on my hair. But basically, the product that I use to pair with the products I, I just showed you previous is Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti Frizz Serum. So, the deal with this product is the same thing <laughs> um, it did not protect my hair, my natural hair. From heat damage whatsoever I don't know if the serum is too light I mean as you can see it's quite liquidy but I mean it's a serum so I, I don't know I feel like this is a straight hair product um, so if you are natural I wouldn't recommend this product it just doesn't work so yeah <laughs> okay so another product of mine that I really love is the Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Natural Hair Oil and um, basically this um, is probably the only oil that I found at the beauty supply store that is literally all natural like I can read you all the ingredients right now because the list is actually so short and um, what is in here is sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, gardenia flower extract, um, rosemary leaf oil, lavender oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, oh, and tea tree oil, and that's it. And so I like to use natural oils on my hair and my scalp for the most part, and especially for my scalp, this feels so good. The peppermint in this like makes it feel nice and tingly, makes it feel like your scalp is actually clean. The fact that there's also tea tree oil in this, um, tea tree oil is a uh, antifungal, antibacterial type of oil. So um, putting this on your scalp actually helps the scalp maintain its cleanliness and you know basically refreshes it before or in between washes. It um, leaves the hair really shiny and soft and um, I like this because there's just a lot of good stuff in here, prevents breakage. I mean, there's just so many um, advantages. Like if you have itchy scalp, this is really nice to calm the scalp. I want to try more from the brand. It is a smaller brand. It was actually founded by a 13 year old girl. It focuses on, you know, having all natural ingredients in their products. Um, I really like this. Um, it feels good, smells good. Okay, so this product was a straight up like waste of money and I kind of hate still, I hate looking at it and I, I go back to it like randomly sometimes just to see how I can try to use it and every time it just fails, um, unfortunately. And that is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler. So <laughs> the thing with this product is it does 
um, give your hair a lot of moisture. The first ingredient is glycerin, so that just shows you. Um, of course, there's shea butter in here, um, argan, oil, vitamin E oil. Okay, so this um, detangler claims that it's lightweight and that it's supposed to, you know, detangle the hair and smooth it and, you know, um, provide shine and man manageability. <laughs> um, so what I can tell you that it does, it does provide moisture to the hair and that's about it. Um, <laughs> because since there's so much glycerin in this product, your hair frizzes up. If it's the summertime, your hair will frizz up in 2.2 seconds. I am telling you, there's not much slip. Like I feel like I have to add a lot of water for this product to give me slip. I've tried it on my ends, like when they were really, um, if they were really dry. And I don't know, I just don't like this product at all. Like it just, I it sounded like such a good idea. Um, the consistency, looks nice to me if you can see that the consistency looks good it's like really thick like it doesn't even like look how thick but it just what it would like it just doesn't work i'm sorry it doesn't work the last hair product that i plan on showing you is something that i bought probably last week or two weeks ago something like that and that's the curls blueberry bliss curl control paste I really, really enjoy this product. It smells freaking awesome, first of all. This one here, um, first of all, you get a lot of products just for your edges in here. <laughs> it's a uh, four fluid ounces. It's um, also moisturizing and um, having your edges moisturized, people like neglect their edges all the time. It's very important to moisturize your edges, especially when you are constantly putting tension on them if you're pulling your hair back or if you wear weaves and wigs and things like that. It's very important to have moisturized edges. This moisturizes while laying your hair down effortlessly. Like So that's it guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you give it a great big thumbs up if you liked this like little version of a likes dislikes video and uh, make sure you comment down below and you know give me your feedback because I love hearing from you guys and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because you know like, just look at this face I will see you guys in the next one peace